which is materials here. Complete materials. So I guess this one would uh, be good. The slides. Okay. So can I just do this? Or do I need to go do something else first? Copy, copy that into another. Um, <coughs> you have more slides. Uh, into another white. Why don't I just go back to the? This will soon go back to the agenda, right? Yeah, but then you'll lose that, so you have to open yeah, it Yeah, you need to uh, press the button again. Okay. Uh, so you think what I should do? Yeah, that's just that. So I need to go over to the. Yeah, I don't know. It's, maybe I should just do it from my own machine. It's much easier. Uh, sure. Let's open. Uh, this one's the first one. No, the first one is the first one. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're in the right order. It's all set. They're all PDFs. Uh, actually, that's another advantage of doing it from my machine is if I do PowerPoints, I can edit them during the meeting. But, Easier, but I guess not. Do you want to do a. Otherwise, you go on that page. Uh, uh, can you go on that page? Uh, okay, bye. Oh, I got it. It's just going to take a while. Usually I get started earlier. And I have actually done this before, but. Uh, Should be the last one? Okay. Okay. This is Tuesday, 13.30. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, we don't actually have too much to do, and uh, some people want to get out early, so I guess I'll go ahead uh, fairly rapidly here. Um, so I'm Donald Eastlake with uh, FutureWay. Russ White was unable to make this meeting. Martin, our area director, is sitting in front here. So uh, do I want to do this? OK, people are presumably aware of the note well. Uh, and uh, the fact that if you want quality documents, you should review other documents. And if you do that, people will probably review your documents. So here's the proposed agenda. So I'll just do some update on status. Uh, we'll just briefly touch on the Yang model document. So that document, that draft, the Yang model document is in the last call ending this meeting. So we'll see what, uh, there haven't been any negative comments. There have been some positive comments on the list. Um, Beer and Babel presentation by, uh, uh, Sandy Shang, uh, and I just have a presentation on possible BBF, uh, Babel futures, uh, which I can uh, go over. To, well, what seems like things we might want to work on in the future, mostly for discussion on the mailing list. Uh, and certainly anybody has discussion here or ideas here, we can do that. Does anybody want any changes in this agenda? Additions, deletions, whatever. Okay. So uh, 
we have two documents that have been approved by the IESG and are all green in the ballot. So uh, there are two documents which I have discussed this, they'll need to be resolved, the HMAC security document and the uh, new base protocol document. There's two documents with publication requested, source specific and information model. As I said, Bevel Yang model is in working group last call. There is also a working group draft on uh, the round trip time extension, which was presented at the last IETF meeting. And there's a couple of uh, related drafts, which is the home net draft, which is waiting on the protocol draft and uh, Sandy's draft on beer uh, Babel extensions. So we've really done pretty well on the milestones that are in the charter. Really the only one left is to submit the Yang document to the IESG, which perhaps we can do later today. <laughs> uh, which at that point there would be all the milestones in the current milestone list in the charter would be completed, which seems good. Uh, so that's it for these agenda and status slides. Um, so I guess uh, on the uh, Yang model draft, the only question I really had was, it, the, currently there's an orange yin yang symbol, which means that the automated Yang checker isn't completely happy with it. Is that a, a problem or can they, I mean, because there's certainly, uh, most people think it's in excellent condition and uh, we could just go ahead. Uh, uh, or you can you, there's a, come up front if you want, or we'll go there, whichever way. That's, you're closer to that microphone now. <laughs> um, so I guess what you're referring to is on Data Tracker yeah. saying that it's. Um, yeah, well, there are some issues with the tools themselves that uh, sometimes lead to that error. Um, and it's good, is, is as simple as saying that one of the included files that I might have referred to is something it can't find. Uh -huh. um, I can certainly take a look at it and send a, a note to the mailing list if need be to let uh, everyone know. Uh, maybe I see Martin has pulled up. Oh. Okay, so. Um, I believe that um, that is a bug in the tool. Um, the a feature uh, requirement for it to be in economical order, although the ABNF grammar for the language says that uh, that is the right order for some reason it's complaining. But uh, anyway, as I said, I'll take a look at it and send a note to the mailing list. Okay. Confirming. Um, and that, if you're going to send a note, I think it'll be like later today or when you want to, okay? Yeah, I'm more than happy to actually do it in okay. just a couple So of is minutes. there any objection after that note is posted to declaring the, the draft of a past working group last call? It's been, I had a notice out for a while. Like I say, there's been no objections and some support. So hearing nothing, and then as soon as you post that note, or unless you say you don't want it to, <laughs> right. to head in that note, then I'll post a message saying it's past working group last call and I can start working on the uh, publication request to... Uh... Okay, sounds good. Okay. And will you do information model? Information model has been publication requested. There is a template out there and it's currently uh, requested as in that state, in the state of publication requested. Okay, uh, beer for Babel. Do you want to present? Let's see. Uh, how do I get to? Uh, so I guess I want to go here and uh, back to that. Give you is that if you want to control. Okay. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Sunny Zhang from ZTE. Uh, this presentation is for Beer in Babel. Uh, we have co-author Tony P. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, I'm glad to present uh, this draft again in Babel Working Group. So at first, let's see the motivation of this draft. Uh, we, our intent is to use Babel protocol as beer underlay protocol to build a beer forwarding layer. 
uh, let's uh, let me introduce beer technology here uh, briefly. Mm. Uh, we know that beer is a new multicast technology, and it can build uh, it can build multicast forwarding layer without ex explicit multicast distribution tree building, and it doesn't require any intermediate nodes to maintain any per flow state. So it's a new multicast technology and it can bring many advantages of multicast forwarding. Mm -hmm. And the beer in split the network into three parts. And the first one is the core layer. It's, me, it's called beer forwarding layer. And then, then this forwarding layer, the packet can be forwarded by uh, multicast uh, uh, duplicate and it can reach the edge router without the uh, SG or MAGI uh, in the intermediate network. And uh, the packet can be encapsulated with the beer header. Uh, uh, now we support the MPRS function, uh, Ethernet function, and the IPv6 function is ongoing. But in order to build the beer forwarding layer, we must rely on some underlay protocol to build the forwarding. So we depend on the IGP protocol and the VGP protocol and the Weibo too to build the B routing underlay. So uh, we use the extension of this routing protocol uh, like Weibo, like uh, IGP uh, to uh, forward to uh, carry the beer information and uh, spread it into the networks, and uh, all the compu uh, all the nodes in the network can calculate the unicast uh, routing and can also calculate the beer forwarding table. So, uh, the beer forwarding layer can be built from the IGP extension. And after the uh, forwarding layer is built, uh, the overlay is used to uh, calc uh, collect the uh, multicast information about the ingress router and the egress router set for some specific multicast flow. So uh, the, B the ingress router, uh, like this BFIR, can, uh, when, when the BFIR receives some specific multicast flow, it can encapsulate the packet with according to beer header and forward it into the uh, network. Then the, the uh, intermediate uh, nodes can forward this packet and uh, duplicate this packet according to the previous calculation result and uh, um, push this packet to the edge routers. So the packet can be forwarded in this network and using beer multicast technology. So in some um, network, uh, we know that we may only use Babel as a routing protocol. So if we'd like to uh, deploy beer in these networks, we can't depend on OSPF extension, um, ISIC extension, or BGP extension. We can only rely on Babel extension. So we'd like to ex make some extensions in Babel protocol to build the beer forwarding layer. So it's our motivation. So uh, it's a briefly uh, summary of Babel protocol. Uh, we, we know that Babel is a distance vector routing protocol. It can be used in wired and wireless mass networks. So um, it's a very good uh, routing protocol can be used in wireless network. It's our intent because it can extend the uh, beer deployment in the wireless network. Um, and uh, we know that Babel has uh, made some um, TLV extension to carry the additional, additional information. So we think that Babel can also use a, a new sub TLV to can convey the beer information too. So uh, we would like to use um, beer extension to carry the beer parameter in the network. So it's an example of the uh, implementation. We know that uh, 
suppose that uh, the node A is an uh, ingress router of the network, and uh, the other routers can uh, also run the Babel protocol. And uh, when Babel protocol is used to advertise the prefix of every node, the associated BR information, uh, such as the subdomain and, and the BFID and some other information can also be carried with the prefix advertisement. So when uh, Babel protocol is running in the network and uh, uh, as long as the prefix information has spread in the network, BR information can also be spread in this network. So when um, Babel protocol calculates the uh, unicast route, it can also calculate the BR forwarding table. So BR forwarding layer can be built from this. Uh, MLD is, is an example of BR overlay protocol. So in this network, we suppose that the MLD is used to convey the uh, AG routers information for some specific multicast flow. So, uh, the, for example, the node A can encapsulate the associated BR in, uh, header into the, uh, in the, uh, the multicast flow packet and then forward it in the network. And all the, net, uh, the node in this network can forward the packet correctly according to the BR forwarding table. Um, and we know that because uh, the beer capability in this network may be an optional. So we, you, we define the mandatory bit of the uh, extended sub TLV to zero. If a router cannot recognize the sub TLV, it, can, it must ignore the unknown sub TLV and it cannot uh, process in the other uh, key fields in this extension. Um, it's the format of the Babel signaling. Uh, that, um, we, the signaling format is aligned with the definition in OSPF and uh, SIS. So uh, we also defined the same fields in uh, the extension, but we may not use it in Babel 2 because uh, the, such as the BAR bar and the IPA fields may not have special meaning in uh, Babel protocol. So we just uh, define it to align with uh, advertisement with IGP protocol, but it uh, may, be, may not be used for now. But uh, uh, maybe in some future, we can find some use of this field. And also, as uh, we define a sub sub TLV of MPRS encapsulation, uh, it's uh, also keep aligned with uh, uh, advertisement in OSPF and uh, SIS. And in the future, we will add the Ethernet encapsulation sub sub TLV. It has only different uh, from the type fields with uh, MPRS encapsulation sub sub TLV. So uh, it's some information about the uh, underlay, beer underlay extension. Uh, the SIS support for beer has been published as RC8401 and also the OSPF extension has been published. And uh, uh, the BGP extension is ongoing. And uh, uh, But we know that um, beer uh, does not rely on all routers in our domain to firm performing the beer forwarding. So how to support tunnels that will allow us to uh, tunnel beer across such routers which cannot support beer forwarding in Babel is for further study because we know that beer is a distance vector uh, protocol and not a SPF protocol. So when it calculates the routes, uh, the routes maybe uh, we know that because it's only one hop away. So it um, may define some tunnels or we use special method to build the tunnel to across the um, router which cannot support BR forwarding. Uh, and there is an implementation of the control plane of BR in Babel. Uh, you can, maybe you can find some um, something value in this link. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Okay.
Thank you. Uh, do we have uh, comments or questions on this? Let's see. I guess not. No. Oh, go ahead. Ah, Martin, go ahead. Martin, we go on. Uh, Donald, it's a question for you. Sure. Um, if the working group was to work on that, would that be part of a rechartering effort, or do you think it fits in the charter? Uh, it does fit in the charter because there, it's it's an optional thing in the charter. The charter says certain things have to be done and gives two optional things, which I actually go over that in my pre I mentioned that in my presentation. There's multicast and source specific routing. Okay. So we've already done source specific routing, but uh, pretty much with the. Okay. Thank you. Sure. <clears throat> Any other questions or comments? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, if anybody else hasn't uh, signed the blue sheet, stick your hand up or something, we can get them to you. <clears throat> so I have a little presentation on uh, possible futures. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Starts by going over what the work items are in our charter and their status. So, green is basically a good color, <laughs> indicates we've gotten there. So, the, the applicability statement is ex explicitly called out in the charter, and that's past the IESG. There's the uh, new uh, proposed standard, or basic, the base protocol standard. Uh, there's the security needs need to be addressed, and we have two drafts that do that, one of which is is fully approved, and one of which has a, a one discussed left needs to be resolved. Uh, manageability is listed there. We have the information model, which is in publication requested, and we have the ANG model, which hopefully later today will be uh, in the uh, past working group last call, and this when I get the paperwork and stuff done, uh, will can be in publication requested. Uh, the charter says we should uh, document implementation experience, but it explicitly says it doesn't need to be an RFC or a document or something like that. So we've basically been doing that by doing reports at meetings. There is not such a report at this meeting, but at last meeting there was a report on the you know, implementation uh, status. So we've sort of been doing that by, by reports to the meetings, um, which pretty much meets that item. There are two optional things in the existing charter. One was source-specific routing, and there's a draft on that, which is in publication requested state, and the other is multicast. So we haven't made nearly as much progress on multicast, but I, guess I, th I think it's a more complicated topic, but we do have this uh, beer Babel extensions draft, and uh, uh, it's something which we can, our, our charter to work on with our current charter is an optional item. So I, I came up with a couple of other things to list as possible work items. One would be uh, type of service uh, specific routing. So you have different routing for different uh, types of service. There is an expired draft on that topic uh, for our working group, which hasn't uh, been worked on in a while, but that, that could be revived. And I think it's not really so straightforward. Another possibility I thought of is uh, doing an 802.11 mesh. It's a Wi-Fi mesh path selection protocol. So Wi-Fi mesh assumes, of course, all the nodes in your Wi-Fi mesh have the same uh, path selection protocol, a routing protocol. They just come to call it a path selection protocol. And uh, there are provisions for having different ones, but I say any particular mesh that has to be consistent. There's even a provision for vendor-specific uh, path selection protocols. So we could, you know, it's designed so that other organizations could make up path selection protocols and uh, use their OUI. We would use the IANA OUI to come up with our own designation. Um, I found 802.11 to be somewhat receptive to this sort of thing. There was a draft done in the IETF, which is down at the bottom of this slide, uh, called Secure Hybrid Wireless Mesh Protocol. And um, this draft was uh, liaisoned to 802.11, I think. Um, and 802.11 said, oh, sure. And so they allocated a code point in the 802.11 uh, space for that. So you can identify the path selection protocol either by a single byte or by a OUI and a 
and a sub-selector for a particular vendor. So the uh, 802.11 has its own assigned number authority, and I just went and looked uh, yesterday in there, and in, there's two values in for pass selector protocols. One is the basic one in the 802.11 standard, and the other is this secure hybrid wireless mesh protocol. So they allocated 0.2 a while ago, and it's of course it's still allocated. And I suspect that if we proposed a pass selection protocol uh, using Babel for 802.11 mesh, that they'd be happy to allocate a value three in their space, or we could use our own. And you know, if there were some extension somehow required, uh, it's it's possible they would do that. So uh, I don't think there's much of an inter standards development organization problem there. And it seems like the kind of thing that uh, Babel should be good for because you have uh, obviously highly variable link metrics in an 802.11 mesh. So I. Uh, Oops. Have another slide. <laughs> I was wondering if anybody in the room or remotely or whatever has uh, any ideas for other possible work items they'd like to to uh, possible future or new work items they would like to have added to this uh, list of stuff here. Um, and if they don't want to speak up now, they can uh, we can post to the list or whatever later. Uh, just going ahead to the, I think the last slide is what what should we work we be doing? I think the highest priority, obviously, for the short run, is to get the core set of all four drafts, including the base protocol draft, through the process and and uh, in the RFC editor's queue. But for the for the long run, uh, longer run, we should discuss rechartering and possible new work items, and uh, we can do it right now uh, or and or on on the list. I mean, we should. We should do it on the uh, list regardless, I believe, uh, to see if there's people out there who are favoring uh, additional work items uh, to be added to our, our new charter. So if anybody would like to comment on any of these uh, charter items or possible new work items or whatever, uh, or proposed any additional ones now, yep. Barbara Stark, I don't see Julia stepping up to the mic. Um, and I know David is, because I just heard him at the microphone over two doors down. Um, I think we may be just a little bit distracted in this session right now, and it might be okay. better just to discuss this on the list. Sounds reasonable to me. <sighs> I, I, like I say, I think we should, if nobody had, regardless of whether people had things to say here, unless a lot of people jumped up and they all said there should be absolutely no new work. <laughs> oh, since that doesn't seem to be happening, then I'm, I'm pretty sure we should discuss it on the list and uh, uh, perhaps work on a draft uh, new charter language there. Martin Vigo has ID. I'm very happy if uh, uh, Babel finds new work to do. Uh, just make sure that there is the energy to effectively effectively bring it to completion. That sounds very reasonable. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it has to be. Yep. Well, there's a Babel community working and implementing and so forth. So, um, okay. Well, is there any other business for the working group here? Uh, Looks like we may manage to have. We I originally applied for a one hour for this slot. We got an hour and a half, but it looks like that maybe a half hour will do us, uh, which is okay because I think people have things they'd like to do. So, um, last call for any additional uh, comments, discussions, or topics here. Ah, okay. Since there seems to be plenty of time on the uh, available on the agenda, uh, Rod Van Meter, um, I'm new to Babel. I had never seen it before, uh, so I just walked in to find out so, sort of a little bit about what uh, Babel is doing and what's going on. I'm the chair of the proposed Quantum Internet Research Group, uh -huh. and um, one of the issues that we ultimately are dealing with is routing, and in fact, the the um, 
the links are potentially not very stable and potentially relatively dy dynamic. So the idea of a, a routing protocol that works well with dynamic um, link costs is of particular interest to, to us. Um, fiber probably varies on uh, on the granularity on the order of an hour, but, but um, free space links or satellite links could be minutes or below. So I'm curious, you know, just I'm completely off the top of my head whether or not Babel is something we should look at as, as a routing protocol for, for those kinds of networks. Uh, I, I would think you should. Uh, so uh, that's uh, certainly interesting. Um, and I think if you were to ask that question on the list that Julius would probably respond to you. And he's like the person who knows the most. And it's just 6.30 in the morning for him. And my... My experience is he's not the best person at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for that comment. That's an interesting topic. Uh, another, yeah? Hi, Ron Infeld. Uh, Donald, I was quickly going over your slides again, and did you miss the RTT draft? Uh, no. Uh, oh, I see. In the in this in the future this presentation. Future. Okay, so sorry. Yeah, it should be down here, I guess. It's it's not something explicitly called out in the current charter, and it's something that is uh, already it's already a working group draft. It seems like it's sort of it's a it's a kind of part of the protocol draft. I, I think I, I guess I considered it to kind of fall under under the existing work. Uh, it should have been listed there. Uh, it is a, 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 let's see here, um, go back to the status of documents here. So, so yeah, so that's down there. Is it's, it is a working group draft. Uh, we could, uh, for example, uh, do a working group last call on it if people believe that, that draft isn't good enough shape for that. That would be a, a reasonable thing to do. It's in current work. Um, do you think that it, it is? Do you have a, an opinion on whether we should do a working group last call for that document? <laughs> I think we really need to ask, you're, you're talking about yeah. source specific? No, no, the RTT extension. I thought that's oh. what we asked about. Oh, the RTG. Oh, the, the round trip time extension. I mean, I think that's another thing we probably need to take to the list. Okay. Um, so we can ask on the list whether what comments people have on that draft, and if there's no, you know, whether they believe it, we should do a working group last call. Yep. Yeah, Roland felt uh, I should go review it, and I will. Hmm? I should go and review it. Okay, and, and excellent. Yes, through. if you could review it and yep. post your comments, that would be great. Okay, uh, anything else from anybody? Uh, okay, I should send the email, so I'll send a, I'll take a glance and uh, we send out a declaration that the Yang model has passed working group last call uh, a little bit later today. And I think with that, that concludes the Babel working group meeting for this time. So thanks for Barbara for taking minutes, uh, and I'll see you on the list and uh, at the next IETF meeting. I hope. Uh, is there anybody who hasn't signed the blue sheets? Okay. You are excused. You can go have fun. Uh, whatever. Okay. When I get around to it, I'll email them to you anyway. Okay, if I get them pulled off, I'll email you so you don't have to. And... Sure.